hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to do salesforce bulk kpi version 1 job for hard deletion so whenever we do hard delete in salesforce the data won't go to recycle bin it will be directly deleted that is permanently it will be getting deleted we are going to see how to do that from postman using bulk kpi First, create a permission set and make sure bulk API hard delete delete records in bulk API without storing them in recycle bin. This particular permission is enabled and assign this permission set to the user who will be running the bulk API hard delete jobs. So first step is create a permission set with the bulk api hard delete uh, permission next assign this permission set uh, to the running user okay next create a connected app in salesforce and uh, uh, get the consumer key and consumer secret first we have to do a post request to our uh, salesforce uh, my domain slash uh, services slash or2 slash token with the body username password client id is uh, our salesforce consumer key client secret is consumer secret <clears throat> once these and the grant type should be password once this is done you will be able to get access token so we made a request to get the salesforce access token so next what we have to do is we have to do a post request to your my domain url slash services slash async slash version number slash job here use operation as hard delete it is case sensitive and define the object uh, define the concurrency mode and finally mention what is the content type you are going to pass in the header use x iphone sfdc iphone session equal to the access token which we got here just this value within double quotes and content type application or xml car set utf iphone 8 so this should be the header and in the bo uh, body use the xml job info and uh, use the operation type as operation as hard delete so now if i click send it will create a job and this is my job id so copy this job id and uh, in salesforce you should see that job which is uh, in pending or in progress so this is the job which you got uh, created so once a job is created we have to define what are all the records we wanted to delete so for that do a post request to your my domain url slash services slash async slash version number slash job slash the job name job id which you got it from the previous request and the slash batch here header should be the same like a create job but in the body you have to mention the array of ids with uh, this format since we are doing hard delete in salesforce id is mandatory for deleting the records so i am passing the rec uh, record id so for example here let me create a new record so record is created let's pass this id and this id is important so copy this id also because here we have to pass that id so here we have to pass the job id so now if you click send it is in progress now it sent a request to delete the records next if you want to check the status uh, in the uh, you have to do a post get request to your my domain url slash services slash async slash 50, uh, your version number slash job slash the job id 
and after that um, in the header you have to pass x hyphen sfdc hyphen session the access token since we are doing a get request body is not required just header should be fine so here once you do a call you will be able to see whether all the records are processed or not what is the current status what is the object timestamp what is the total processing time all this information will be here you can also check it in salesforce here so one records process that was our intention it is still open if you want to close the job you have to do a post request to your my domain url slash services slash async slash your version number slash the job id and uh, in the uh, header you have to pass x hyphen sfdc hyphen session equal to the access token next in the body you have to send a json uh, um, text where it should be state closed so if you send this it will close the job so let's see it okay now the job is closed let's verify it here yeah the job is also closed here so this is for bulk api version 1 we used so this record would have been deleted permanently i won't be able to restore Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get uh, all the endpoints which we used as a reference here and also uh, the body which we were using uh, for closing the job and also um, creating the job and creating the delete job. So all this information are there in my blog post. You can use uh, them as a reference. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.